In this video, we want to cover a topic that a lot of people want to talk about, long-term care. Stick around. Welcome to the Maluli Asset Show. I'm your host, Tom Maluli. Today, we want to talk about a topic that a lot of people would like to talk about, but they kind of feel weird bringing it up. Long-term care. What happens when I get old? It's not going to be like that Beatles song when I'm 64. So being in a long-term care facility costs a lot of money. And there are long-term care insurance policies that are out there Fewer and fewer insurance companies are writing these kind of policies because they know that it is basically a bottomless pit and they don't, they don't generate enough premiums for them to cover the costs. So we used to have lots of companies that would write these uh, long-term care policies 30 years ago. Uh, we're down to just a couple here in New Jersey. So you need to get a handle on what what costs are involved with going into some kind of assisted living or community care or into a nursing home. So I wanna share some numbers that came from a survey, uh, a report that was put out by Genworth and they do a lot of these uh, long-term care policies. So in our zip code here in Wall Township, New Jersey, uh, I'm going to share with you some numbers. If you're going to go into a nursing home in this area, a semi-private room, the average cost right now is $11,600 a month. If you're getting a private room, it's over $12,000 a month. That's, that's closing in on 150 grand a year. Uh, if you are going to uh, go into an assisted living facility, the average in this part of New Jersey is $8,150 a month. Again, that's a hundred grand a year. Even if you're going to try and stick it out at home, you need to know that the average care for a uh, home health aid, that cost runs right now averaging about $5,200 a month. Now remember, that's an average. Some will be able to get things that cost less and some will pay more, but this stuff really does add up. $5,200 a month by itself doesn't seem all that bad until you start to realize that the average stay in a nursing home is around two years. Start doing the math. If you are in, say you're, you've got a home health care uh, person coming in a couple of times a week to help you out, 5,200 a month times 24 months, we're talking about $120,000. If you're in a nursing home facility and you have a private room and you're there for two years, you're talking about a number that's closing in on 300 grand. So we really do need to plan this out. Uh, what was also interesting in uh, the same report that Genworth put out, survey responses, nearly two thirds of survey respondents believe that the government will cover all or most of your healthcare expenses, your long-term care coverage. That is just patently false. Yes, Medicaid will cover things, but you need to understand, you have to get all of your assets essentially out of your name and you can't show any income for Medicaid, the government program, to pick up the cost going in. So there's a lot of planning, there's a lot of savings, there's a lot of things that you need to prepare for when we're talking about long-term long care. One other tidbit that I'll share with you is when we were putting this video together and collecting our thoughts, one of the things that we found is that 83% of care, long-term care, comes from unpaid sources, family members. One idea that you may wanna consider is putting together a care contract with family members, pay them, pay them to come in during the week 
And this way you have a paper trail if you do wind up going into some kind of nursing care facility or long-term care or assisted living, it's, you've got a paper trail to show where your assets have been going to. Just one thought of many that we have when it comes to long-term care. We hope this has been helpful. Reach out to us if you've got questions about it.